what is up guys it was me money back here with another video and in this video i'm going to be showing you guys how you guys can make and concept logo in android and ps touch and it's pretty easy thing to do you just have to copy and paste and actually it's a bit harder than that but it's really easy and you might have seen a lot of people using these type of logos as my fellow youtuber and really good friend mozilla and he use a concept logo as well and if you need a professional look you can go into google and search for shapes.png you can gonna get a lot of shapes and though you can copy them and cut them and paste them and make a lot of good stuff by that because in ps touch you only get circle and rectangle and polygon tool to make shapes so but in this video in this tutorial i'm not going to be using any shapes i'm going to be making this really, really simple concept logo only with like you just gonna be seen it is so easy to do and you're gonna get pretty much a look how to make that and easy stuff so i hope you guys might like it and if you guys do so please leave a like and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that being said let's get into the video so first what you have to do is you just have to set a pixels and make sure you set a same pixel and same width and height and make a rectangle workspace so what you have to do is you just have to set 1000 by 1000 you can set 2000 by 2000 3000 by 3000 4000 by 4000 anything and you just make sure they are same so when you're done with that make sure you hit the ok button right up there and i'm gonna do that right now as you guys can see it's full rectangular workspace so what you have to do after that is first make sure you click on that and button and after that put a color and i'm gonna put some dark color something like that to work on so after when you're done with that click on that plus mark right up there and make sure you make an empty layer and make sure you select the empty layer and it is above the color layer and after that you just have to show pointer so you get some pointer type of thing like you are having a mouse and after that click on that thingy and after I select a marquee selection tool it's actually a rectangular tool and select the whole damn workspace and when you're done with that you just have to click on that and button and transfer it so i'm gonna do that again you just have to click on transfer and make it small and put it in the middle of that so it's gonna look something like that and again click on and thingy right up there and fill in stroke and this time put white color and it's gonna look something like that as you guys can see so after that what you have to do is make a duplicate layer and hide the bottom one and by if you want don't know how to hide you just have to click on that dot type of thingy as you guys can see so it hides that layer so when you hide make sure you are on unhide layer you select unhide layer and then select a polygon tool and that was this tool this is polygon tool you just have to select and select the half of the rectangle that you just made so i'm gonna do that right now you just have to select half of it something like that and then click on that and clear it out and after i just select that so after you can transfer it and make it big if you want but don't do it make it duplicate layer so after that what you have to do is you just have to transfer it something like that flip it by x flip it by y and after that, drag it above so make sure you leave some space in the middle so when you're done with that you just have to unhide the hide layer and select that layer and after i go into transfer and click on extras and click on lock expect ratio so it opens after that, you just have to align that thing with the you just have to fill in the blanks the things that was a blank you just have to fill it with it and now you're gonna get something like that it's kind of like a diamond shape it's super really nice and after you're done with that you just have to click on that window thingy and make sure you're on the uh, top layer and after click merge down two to three times and after that you can transfer it but as you guys can see i able to transfer it freely 
still so what you have to do is you just have to click on and transfer and extra and you just have to click on local expected ratio again so now you can transfer it but your shape is still gonna be not like you you just understand what i'm trying to say so what after that you have to do is you just have to make a duplicate layer and just make something that you want because now if i show you how i make this i'm i'm showing you but not everyone can make one same logo so just try to do something like this but try to do your own stuff like put shape somewhere else but at that time i'm also putting like randomly i don't know what i'm making and uh, i'm just trying my best to make as you guys can see there is some space left here so to resolve that what you have to do is you just have to go into and transfer pixel nudge and after you just have you can like really align them really nicely so when you're done with that you can like really nice but i'm not uh, doing it in every time because i'm making it for video so after that i'm as you guys can see doing it uh, making somewhere like duplicate again i have to add that again i'm just as you guys can see i'm just trying to add wherever i can and just doing whatever i can so you just have to do that again and uh, I know you are all gonna fail sometime because everyone fails and but keep on doing something and you're gonna end up making something really, really good trust me so that's how because no one know if something is mistake and something is uh, for like intentional because this is on custom stuff so no one actually know what that is so just this is the best thing about it because as you guys can see I'm think that we're done with it so when you think we're done you just have to merge everything and duplicate and then transfer it as you guys can see we got ourselves a custom logo so after that you can just do whatever you want like you can set uh you can transfer it but make sure you just duplicate both and boom something like that and just transfer it make it a bit smaller so you just got yourself a custom logo but and one more thing guys make sure you have custom logo in white because custom logo look nice in white and uh, it's good make sure you select the pixel from there and when you just select your pixels what you have to do is you just have to click on that and right above your head as you can see you start to an add and make sure you select pixels and uh, just click on add and you just just put gradient you can put this gradient and you just have to set something like that so it's nice for all you can do a nice and you just can see it puts a nice look to it and back to it and you can see now it's all like coloring it and decorating it but now you got your structure and now you can do anything that you want anything that you like i'm going to be putting a stroke and uh, as you guys can see just it is more often a tip video it's not like a tutorial i'm telling you each and everything as you guys can see because i can't if i told you how to make this logo everyone is gonna make the same that's not gonna run and uh, everyone can't make the same thing so i'm just telling you how you can do it and you just have to do it your own way your own customizations put cuts between and you can just do anything like you can use different shapes and copy them paste them you can use like just any other shape like you can use circle for that and cut the circle between and make it hemisphere and then you can just like it's really nice you can do a lot of stuff and i hope you guys like this video up and if you guys do leave a like and as you guys can see i select a polygon tool and i'm gonna put a cut to show you guys how you guys can like do that and you just have to select something like that and then click right up there and clear it up as you guys can see you get cut type of thingy so this is all depend on you what you want to do and how you want to do it so i hope you guys like it you can select a circle tool as well circle selection tool and after you just have to like make circle just make one circle something like that and you just have to make a circle and then you just have to clear it both like make sure you click on that plus mode and after that you can like clear that out as well so it all depends on your creativity and whatever you want to do because it's your logo and you just you can add 
anything that you want and no one is gonna know that it is intentional or not so that's the best part about this i hope you guys liked it if you guys do so please leave a like